All right, Carla, surgery went really good. Thank you for your help. All right, so right this way. We can come right in here. Dr. Ross, I got something coming in here. Man. So try to keep him calm if you could. Bruh, we have an owl? Yeah. We need to have this eye looked at. We'll help Dr. Blue out. Want me to put the e-collar on? Yeah, put the e-collar on and we'll be good. Sure. Want me to get a culture? Yeah, grab a, the smallest culture. Okay. Cul uh, culture at. This will let us know if we're dealing with anything, anything fungal. Okay. And no. just right around the, the ulcer and then the lid. Yeah. I know it is irritating, but we good. So I'm gonna get a little bit more. All right. So we got a sterile sample. I think I like to stain the eye. What I'm using here is just the fluorescein stain. Okay. Okay, and this actually picks up any type of abrasion that's on the eye. All right, we just want to do a drop right here. Okay. Doc, you mind hitting that light for me? Okay. So you see that raised area? That shows the area of the ulcer and the abrasion. Okay. Okay, so we, we, we have a significant size there. Now here's the issue. You see how it's elevated or raised? Yes. Uh -huh. That is my main concern right now. The actual iris, the mm -hmm. colored part of the eye, mm -hmm. is actually, it's so inflamed that if it's actually attached to the clear part of the eye, the cornea, mm -hmm. and we call that synechia. Synechia is one of those issues where you have attachment of the iris to the either front part of the chamber or the rear part of the chamber. The issue with it is you're throwing off the actual pupil's shape, which is causing a difference in its ability to dilate and constrict. It also interrupts the flow of fluid between the chambers, which can lead to glaucoma and ultimately blindness. What I think is important right now is we need to start the treatment. So we're gonna do anti-inflammatories for about two days. We wanna reduce as much swelling as possible, and the idea is to have that iris to release from the cornea. Okay, let's say everything goes well and it yes. doesn't get bad. Is this eye gonna go back clear? The eye should return back to normal. If we don't have uh, any improvement, then I definitely want you to go see an ophthalmologist about this. Because she could lose the eye because of the trauma that has occurred. Even though girl owl is an animal that's in captivity, you know, her eyes, like any animal's eyes, is very important. They use them to hunt, they use them as nighttime vision. For them to adjust to life without that, it's, it's gotta be traumatic. So hopefully we can fix the eye.